Today on BTV News Channel 3, we take you to the college fair to see what the annual event had to offer students. Plus, the first backdoor cafe of the school year was a big success. We get a review of the artist showcase. And in sports, the winter season is here already, believe it or not. We check in with the Lady Bucks soccer team as they get set for another big year. Hello everyone, and welcome to BTV News. I'm Cam Thompson. And I'm Chris Erdman. You give us 15 minutes and we'll give you the latest news that affects you and the Benjamin School. Plenty to bring you today, including a look at the latest members of the 14-year club. But first, our top story. Every year, thanks to college counseling, over 100 universities and colleges descend on the Benjamin School to showcase their institution of higher learning and attract the stellar college student. This year was no different as Katie O'Hare reports. The annual college fair took place this past week in the Healy Athletic Center where over 100 colleges attended to help students find their perfect fit. I think the fair was a, was a great success. I was delighted to see as many Benjamin students there as I did. Um, and the feedback from the college representatives was uh, tremendous. They were really impressed with how um, polished and, you know, just the Benjamin students came off in a terrific way that night. So it was a good night for our community. Students of all ages can only benefit from coming to the college fair. I hope to introduce myself to my number one choice to put a face to the name of the application. The fair does not only help the students, but the college representatives as well. Firstly, we definitely recognize what type of strong caliber students are right here at the Benjamin School. Every single year we have such a strong applicant pool. Many of your students from right here at Benjamin applying to the university. And you're the type of students that we want to see on our campus and flourishing and doing great things as Buckeyes. So without a doubt, that is one of the key reasons why you'll continue to see Ohio State, well, the Ohio State University here at the Benjamin School. Clearly, the Benjamin College Fair is a great resource for college representatives and Benjamin students. Reporting for BTV News Channel 3, I'm Katie O'Hare. Thank you, Katie. Well, the Benjamin student body is made up of all kinds of students from all walks of life. Some have only been here for a year or two. Others have spent five to ten years in the Benjamin community. And for some seniors, Benjamin has been the only school they have known. They are called the 14-year club, and Hadley Lane introduces us to the members of this year's club. The 14-year club is a tradition unique to Benjamin, yet some students are left in the dark about the subject. It's like a group of students who have been going to the Benjamin School since pre-K, so now that we're seniors, we've been here for 14 years, so we're in the 14-year club. It's just, it's kind of special and sentimental because we have been going to the school for like such a long time, so we're kind of like, just like our own, like we're friends with everybody, but we're kind of just like our own group because we have that like in common as well because we've known each other for so long. 14 year club means that you've been at the Benjamin School since pre-K and it means that um, you've just basically been with the same group of kids for 14 years of school and you kind of form like a really big connection with some of your classmates. Uh, it lets you participate in the Halloween Parade as a senior and it just gives you the ability to know your school better. I'm really excited about the 14 year club Halloween Day Parade because I'm going to be a princess and it's exciting because when I was little I saw like all the seniors come and like I couldn't wait till I was there that day so I'm really excited about it. These students take this time to reflect on their favorite memories from the past 14 years. I think just um, like Mr. Sanders class in eighth grade was like a lot of fun, like um, blowing up a lot of stuff, even just like in astronomy. We like still made excuses to blow stuff up in that class. It was fun. I was, I had broken my leg in third grade and I was in a wheelchair. And uh, I remember going down a really steep hill and Bobby O'Leary was pushing me. I told Bobby, let me go, let me go. So he let me go. Gained a lot of speed and my uh, wheel caught the edge of the sidewalk and the whole wheelchair flipped and I slammed into a palm tree. So that was pretty cool. Coach Reem, an experienced member of the community, has seen all of these students grow up throughout the years. The of teaching and the joy of being around young people is to watch them grow and mature not only as students in the intellect part of it but also the physical part of it. And uh, they're all special but they all have their unique personalities too and I think that's what uh, makes it so much fun is is to watch the personalities of each group as they come through. And uh, as I said, it's a pretty special group every year because that's, that's a long time to be in one school. 
For these seniors, this past 14 years of Benjamin have been pretty eventful. It's nice to reminisce. This has been Hadley Lane reporting for BTV News Channel 3. Thank you, Hadley. Well, speaking of extraordinary, three times a year, the talents of our student body, faculty, and staff are put on display for everyone to see. The Backdoor Cafe has been a Benjamin staple for many years, giving musicians, poets, and actors a platform to shine. BTV's Jared Shapiro attended the cafe and has a story. Backdoor Cafe is a small arts venue at the Benjamin Upper School. It is hosted by the Fikes, and there are three of them throughout the year. The first one just passed by a few Wednesdays ago, and it sounds like everyone had a great time. Uh, Backdoor Cafe went awesome this year. So many people performed, and it was a blast playing with other musicians that are, that are really talented. I think it went well, especially that it was the first one, and there was um, a good amount of people for the first one, and I really enjoyed performing for it. Mr. Fike talks about the recent turnout at Backdoor Cafe. I was really pleased with it for, first, for the first one. Um, it's always a little lighter turnout on the first one, just because people takes a little while to get the, uh, get the word out. But really nice stuff. Um, pretty senior dominated, so let's get some underclassmen in there. Mr. Fike gives us a rough estimate of when the upcoming Backdoor Cafes will be. We've got our next one coming up in December to be right before the end of school. It's a good way to celebrate the end of the semester. And uh, it's always a fun one. We usually get some more people. We've got seniors. We could use some poetry. Um, sometimes we get alumni to come in. We'll see if we can get Bayes to read some of his poetry. That'll be kind of cool, too. So, And, of course, PFP will have something awesome. Uh, PFP is a lot of fun. Um, we, we're all, you know, pretty, uh, pretty talented and we're all pretty dedicated to, you know, what we're doing with Mr. Fike, so it's a lot of fun. Mr. Fike gets really emotional sometimes, he like closes his eyes and like really feels the music and everyone gets really into it. I think people can expect to see a lot more performers um, as the year goes on, more people kind of like get the guts to get up on stage, so it's a lot of fun and we'll see like a lot more faces. Looks like the Backdoor Cafe was a great success. Reporting for BTV News Channel 3, I'm Jared Shapiro. Thank you, Jared. We're going to take a time out, but plenty more ahead when BTV continues. We get a sneak peek at the girls' soccer team as they look to get back to the state tournament. BTV Sports is next. Hi, I'm Anquan Bowden of the San Francisco 49ers. And BTV is coming up next. Hello everyone and welcome to BTV Sports. I'm Luke Martin bringing you the latest in Benjamin Athletics. The Benjamin girls soccer team is getting ready to take the pitch for their 2014 season. This year's squad is loaded with talent, which has the team believing a trip to the state tournament is very likely. The girls varsity soccer team has high expectations this year, hoping to win the state championship. The team only lost two seniors from last year and have a solid group of girls this year. So this year we have really big expectations to hopefully win states. Like last year we were really close. I would say the district final with us versus American Heritage was basically 
the uh, state final because I think we were the best two teams that were left, and it was a really close game that went to PKs and we lost. <laughs> There are many young players who are new to the team that play soccer for travel teams year-round. These players add a lot of skill and potential to this varsity team. Um, this year's team has a lot of new young talent. Um, we have two new eighth graders, Abby Moss and Jesse Martin, and they're both really good. And there's also a bunch of new freshmen that are really good, and we have a lot of new travel players, which will help us so much during games, which we haven't really had a lot in previous years. The advantage is most of our young players play year-round, whereas most of the players that left us last year just played for the high school team. So the youth will be playing year-round, and uh, that'll be an advantage for us. Coaches and players alike are changing their strategies and practices to have an even more successful year than the last. Um, this year we're doing a lot of conditioning and it's hard but it's definitely helping us out and playing on the turf field is kind of bad because it's really hot so that is tough during conditioning but it's only going to help us during games so it's worth it. Well, there really hasn't been any change. We haven't put this year's team together because there's so many open spots on the team. The, the fact that the, the, the young kids have to learn the new terminology because they haven't played for me before, will, will, you know, that'll probably take uh, at least three weeks because they have not heard my terminology before. As you can see, the girls varsity soccer team has high expectations for the year to come. With new talent and old veterans, this team should be better than ever. So good luck to the girls and boys soccer teams this year, and make sure you come out support both of them. Well, that will put a wrap on BTV Sports. Back to you, Chris and Cam, in the studio. Thank you, Luke, and we thank you for joining us, and look forward to seeing you back here in a couple of weeks. For Cam Thompson, News Director Max Chesnas, Producer Hadley Lane, Director Kyle Malone, and the entire BTV News team, I'm Chris Erdman. See you soon.